What's up guys, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to talk about an affiliate system for WordPress. Now you're probably going to be thinking, why would I need this? Let's just say this straight out. Amazon and eBay use an affiliate system. I'm even using it with them because I bring sales to them. So what this is going to do is bring more sales to your site. I mean, you can have a fantastic website, you can have a fantastic product, but you can't sell a whole bunch of it. Why? Because you need people to actually promote it for you. This is the cheapest way that you can sell more without having to, well, put cash out. Like for example, you can do some ads, but you would have to cash out, right? With the affiliate system, you won't. People will do this for you. So this is the easiest way to sell more. Now, what system I'm talking about is Affiliate WP. This is a WordPress system. It's a plugin that you install it and you have a whole system in your WordPress to start off and use an affiliate system. Now, before we get started, I wanna show you the results I'm having with this particular plugin right here. I already have it installed. It's pretty easy and straightforward. All you have to do is head on over to plugins on your WordPress site, add new, install it, and add the settings. Now I'm gonna show you really quick what the settings are because it's, it's pretty straightforward. But this is the results I'm having right now. You can see the paid earnings, $1,786. Those are the paid earnings. That's not how much I've made. This is just what I've paid out to these guys who've helped me out promote the deals that I have. You got paid earnings, you got paid earnings with this month, unpaid referrals, 34, unpaid referrals this month, 20, unpaid referrals, one. These are the earnings that are unpaid right now. So this is something that I have to know when I have to check out my bank. You know, I need, I need to have this money because this isn't mine. It was thanks to these affiliate people who made the, pro the promotion. And these are the earnings of Valuable Affiliates. So these are the earnings by affiliate uh, persons who've been doing it. Referrals, visits, the recent referral visits, recent referrals, latest affiliate registrations. Now you can see right here, I have pending and active. This is something that it gives me the capability of doing because I can either have them like automatically be accepted or I can accept them individually. So I, if I don't find someone that is like good enough, I can say, no, you can't be an affiliate. So it gives me the option. Highest converting earls. So as you can see, this is actually working. Imagine all this work doing it myself, sell, doing all these sales, it's, it's not possible. So i rather give a bit of my earnings to actually sell more. So at the end of the day, I'm making more money. So that's, that's the whole reason of using an affiliate system. And like I told you before, even Amazon, who is like the king of the internet sales, is using an affiliate system. I'm even a part of it. I mean, I'm using it and I'm making money from them. So they benefit from me. So I'm actually doing the same for my site. Now, what are the, the things that we have available on, what do you call it? On Affiliate WP, it's right here. So for example, we have, let's go through these menus really quick. Let's head on over to Affiliate. Now, by the way, there's sometimes there's uh, some deals going on in Affiliate WP. So if you guys wanna grab it, the link will be in the description. The link is an affiliate link, obviously. It will, it will give you a small commission and it won't cost you one cent more. So it helps me out make these videos. So this is one of the tabs that we have right here. So it's the affiliates. We have an overview of every single affiliate that we have registered. We got their name, the affiliate ID, the username, their paid earnings, unpaid earnings, rates. So for example, I wanna show you what the paid earnings I've done. So these are the paid earnings that you can see right here. This is what I've paid off to these affiliates. That's, there you go. And let's head on over to another tab. These are referrals. I just wanna show you a quick overview of what you can expect from Affiliate WP. You can see right here, we got the referrals. We got for ID, account, affiliate, reference, description, type, date, actions, and status. So in this case, what I can do, remember these are the referrals. These are what they have made. Doesn't mean that they've paid already. These are the ones they've made recently and I can mark them as paid, I can reject it, or I can edit or delete. So I have all these options. So if you're gonna pay them manually, then you check out, all right, let's go to their affiliate name, see what their PayPal or their bank account is, I transfer, and then I mark it as paid when it's done. Now they're going to see this when it's paid, so on their dashboard they would see, hey, it's paid already. Or I can reject it. There could be some reasons that you would do this. Um, I've done this, one of the reasons I've done it, for example, I've had affiliates sign up, they've had only one visit, 
and they made a referral and they haven't made any other single visits. So that means the probabilities of them being a cheater are really big. They probably opened the account just to buy for themselves. So it's just rejected. That's one of the reasons. All right, head on over to payouts. All right, and in the payouts, you can see right here what, what's been paid out. Here's the amounts. These are the ones already marked as status as paid. You can see this right here and generate it obviously by the admin. So these are already paid off. See all these amounts right here? All that's been paid off. There's even more. So like I said, it's been really successful for me using affiliate system. I've probably sold more through affiliates than directly through my site. So this is really important for me. Um, this case might be different for other people, but just wanna let you guys know that affiliate system has been working great for me. Then we have the tab where it says visits. Let's check out visits. So the visits right here are the sites that they've been visiting the, from the affiliates. You can see the IPs, referring URL, referral ID, who is the affiliate who referred to this link, and the date. Creatives, I haven't added creatives, but what you do here, you add a creative. For example, if you had a, a banner or an image or whatever, this appears on their affiliate dashboard. These are like things that they could use. So you give it to them so they can actually use it if they want. So it's ready made. Then we have reports. So as you can see right here with Affiliate WP, you have everything in one single plugin. So here's the revert paid earnings. This is what I've paid all time, $1,786. Unpaid earnings, so these are the ones to come. So once they've reached, because I have a refund period, so this has to wait till they paid off. Then paid unpaid referrals, zero of 20 this month. Average referral amount, so it's about $36 they, they make right here that's another number two tools on tools we got the export and import so export affiliates export affiliates so if you're switching sites or grabbing affiliates from another place you can do this also export referrals export payouts export visits uh, export settings import settings so you have all this information that you can use you got API keys recount stats migration assist and system info Going down, we have the settings. Now, this is one of the most important parts when you're starting to set up. This might take you half an hour, one hour to set up, and once it's set up, you're done. I mean, you don't have to do anything else. So just first off, start off and, and set this up. So you got the affiliate area. This is the page that's going to be used. Terms of use, terms of use label. So all this will appear over there. The re referral variable. So as you can see, there's an example right here. This is the site, and it's using ref. So I can change this to something else, like, uh, I don't know, referral. It could be the whole word. It could be something shorter, like just A or S or 1 or whatever you want to add. It's just be this right here. But this is meant for people to know that's used for a referral. Default referral format, you can see this right here. It's going to use their ID, pretty affiliate URL. If you want to switch it to something more nice, instead of using, for example, this one right here with like the question mark ref equals and then the id it could be something nicer you can see sasquist.com slash ref slash and admin and then the site so it makes it more nice and here are all the integrations that i have these integrations that you see up here are add-ons i'm going to show you where those are right now so for example we got the integration for op the integrations opt-in form email smisk payout services lifetime commissions paypal payouts this is a really awesome plugin that once you use it you don't want to go back what it does you set paypal to to pay them off at a certain time and it does it automatically pushovers recurring referrals affiliate landing pages custom affiliate slugs let's click on this one really quick i'm going to talk about most of them right now so let's head on over to the add-ons once you do the the settings you head on over to add-ons and this is going to depend on the account that you have on Affiliate WP, that you have access to the pro uh, add-ons, and these are the official free ones. So on the pro add-ons, you have like the REST API Extend, so it gives you more ability to use the API. Zapier for Affiliate, so it connects Affiliate WP to over 700 web services out there. So basically with Zapier, you can do anything with the information that you grab. Affiliate landing pages, so create dedicated landing pages. Is if, if this is something that you want, you can do it. Direct link tracking, allow affiliates to link directly to your site. 
custom affiliate slugs. So instead of using the one by default, like number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you can give them the option to add their own custom slugs. So that means, hey, I want to do something fancy. In this case, for example, I'll use SAS Master as my affiliate slug. Sign up referrals, you can do this award. Award commission when referred users sign up for a WordPress user account. So if you want to do this, you can do that also. Affiliate forms from Gravity Forms for Ninja Forms. So if you're using one of those two, you can use those forms with this uh, add-on. Pushover notification, send push notification on new referrals to your affiliates. This is, I think, really important. Me, as an affiliate user for other sites, I hate when I make an affiliate sell and I'm not notified. Why? Because I want to know if someone if something sells, I want to know if I'm getting a commission because I'm I know that what I'm doing is right. Or as an affiliate, I get more incentive, I get more hyped when I feel that, that when I see the email that I've sold and I made a referral. So I'm like, yeah, so I'm gonna promote more. So I think this is really important for anyone. Lifetime commissions allow your affiliates to receive a commission on all future purchases by the customer. Recurring referrals, track ongoing referrals for subscription payments and membership plugins. Um, tiered affiliate rates, so if you wanna do it by tiered, you can use this also. Affiliate dashboard sh uh, sharing, allow your affiliates to easily share generated referral earls. And the PayPal payouts, instantly pay affiliates once click payment through PayPal. So this is makes this makes really thing make everything more easier. So these are the pro ones. So if you have the pro account at Affiliate WP, you can use these. Oh, these are the free ones. Let's check this out. So you got the starting affiliate ID. So remember, it's by number if you're not gonna use the custom slug. Affiliate area tabs, manage the affiliate area tabs. So what this does in the affiliate area that we're gonna log in in a bit, it, it's gonna you can remove or keep the affiliate tags remember one of the ones we saw right here for example creatives if we're not gonna create creatives then we should actually remove it and I think I have to do that <laughs> so if it's showing this and I'm not I don't have anything there so just remove it if you're not gonna use it affiliate info show information based on the affiliate referrals Earls external referral link so allows affiliates to promote external WordPress based pages so if you're gonna do this off a WordPress site you can do this also allow own referrals so allows the affiliate to earn commissions on their own referrals that if you they want to buy themselves they make a commission off it i don't think that's right but if you want to use it that's available show affiliate coupons allowed products so this means not all products will give a commission in this case you said which products will give a commission affiliate area short codes you can do this right here you have the affiliate product rates set product referral rates on per affiliate level leaderboard so if you want to do like a competition of who's selling more and you want to have a leaderboard for them you can do that there sign up bonus give a bonus for signups store credit so instead of paying them money they have a store credit that you can use in the store this helps out because um, you don't get through the process of payouts they actually have to buy something from you, so you win a little bit more. The only thing is that this can be discouraging for some affiliates because they're saying, ah, you know what, I want cash, I don't want something from the store. In other cases, it might work. For example, Amazon, it's a super huge store. You can buy almost everything there. So that works in that case. Some cases, it might not work. Order details for affiliates, given that option. Force pending referrals. WooCommerce, redirect affiliates, and checkout referrals. So you have all these options available. And there's some third-party add-ons that you can add when you have them, like there's BuddyPress. If you have BuddyPress, it's connected, so you can do that there. Um, let's head on over to the site, actually, and show you what this actually looks like. Um, let's go to this. All right, so I'm in incognito mode. I have the affiliates link right here. Obviously, you can have it on top. You can have it in the bottom. Um, you cannot even have it listed, but you, you give them the link. So this is a registration. So register as a new affiliate. You can also set these to uh, a separate page if you want. And you can customize a bit how it looks. You see how this set the password, username, and this is where it's logged in. I will log in just for this 
case and purpose, I am logging in, I will have no cells, but you will see what the user will see. So this is where they are greeted, right? So the for reference, we're using numbers. So it says number one, you see the referral URL, the page URL. So obviously it's using the main domain as one of them. But for example, let's just say you found a deal here. Um, let's actually open one, let's close this. Let's open one of the deals, let's go to deals. And this is one of them. Let's buy this deal, it's 69 bucks. It's a lifetime deal. If you guys wanna grab it, check it out. So I'm grabbing this link, I'm copying the link, I'm putting it here, oh sorry, over here, here, and I'm gonna change the campaign name to Avion because that's what it's about, and I'll generate the URL. So now we have this URL available that we can use to promote. So that's what we're using. And we're gonna go to statistics, right here so you got the statistics right here so it's unpaid referrals paid referrals visits conversion rates unpaid earnings so this is an affiliate it's this is what the user is going to see you can see their commission rate percentage this is 25 percent by default there's a graph available there's no information right now but they would see this you got all this info right here the filters you got referrals so you would have a list of referrals that you've made right here like the one we saw over there on the dashboard they would see but only their own there's a payouts so they would see the information right here let's wait for it to open sorry about this site is a bit slow referrals paid out you see the information here visits they would see a list of the visits creatives remember i told you where they would see the banners and all that that i should remove this because i'm not using it but I guess I will start using it. I'll, I will start giving the users the ability to use banners. I mean, it might help them out instead of like making their own images or taking time to do it, you can give it to them. There's the settings where you can set where they want to be paid out in the information and log out, obviously. Let's close this. Well, as you can see, that's Affiliate WP. It's a whole system to have your own affiliate system inside of WordPress. Super easy, super fast, super recommended for anyone. I mean, if you're not using affiliates to sell, you're, you're actually losing money. It's not about giving, like you're, you're giving a percentage off to these people, but you're actually losing more in not having this system to actually do sales. Well guys, that's Affiliate WP. Like I said, if you guys wanna grab this deal, the link will be in the description. And as obviously with this video, it's an affiliate link. It won't cost you one single cent more, but it'll give me a commission to help out and make these videos, grab deals for you and make more videos. Well guys, my name is George, this is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.